parallel universes, what does that mean and what are your thoughts on those? Well, I think it's, to me, the correct way of thinking about quantum mechanics. Um, there's different, again, there's a nomenclature problem because there's something called the cosmological multiverse, which is actually a fairly down-to-earth idea that very, very far away, conditions in our universe are very, very different. So different that we might as well think of it as a different universe. Mm -hmm. And that may or may not be true, but it's so far away we can't see it and it's hard to know. The quantum many worlds, which are the parallel universes I was referring to, that's actually what I, I would consider to be much more likely, but also much more profound. It says, you know, what, what is the resolution of this puzzle that the electron looks like a wave, but then you look at it and it looks like a particle? The answer is, in, in many worlds, the answer is, well, that wave can be thought of as a little bit of the electron here and here and here and here and sort of like a superposition of many places the electron could have been. And when you measure it, because of entanglement, this thing that Einstein emphasized, you are part of the wave function of the universe also. You're a quantum system. You can be in a superposition. You can become entangled with the electron. And in fact, if you look at the, the equations, the Schrodinger equation of quantum mechanics, what happens when you look at an electron? It's not that the electron somehow collapses to one particular random location. It's that you, there's, there's part of the wave function that says the electron was here and I saw it there. Another part says the electron was here and I saw it there. Another part says the electron was here and I saw it there. And the great insight is maybe all of these possibilities actually become real. And you actually get a set of different copies of reality, each one of which has me seeing the electron in a slightly different place. Hmm. And that sounds crazy and wild, but it is the straightforward prediction of the equations. And so the question is, do we believe those equations? Do we trust them? Or is that conclusion so wacky that we say, we gotta change these equations, we gotta look for better equations somehow. And both options are on the table. So there's perhaps many parallel worlds right now. That's right. And those are all those different observations from those different worlds. That's right, yes. Okay. And that's hard for most people to get their heads around. To say the least, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hard for most people to get their heads around the fact that what they see isn't what is reality. Yeah, that's right. So people talk in quantum mechanics about the measurement problem, which is basically what I've described where we use the word measurement in defining quantum mechanics without defining it, okay? So what do you mean by measurement, et cetera? That's the measurement problem. But equally important is what I call the reality problem. So you talk about the electron being a wave, but then you see it and it looks like a particle, so what is it really? Like, when you talk about these waves, are they a true representation of reality? Or are they just a tool that we're using to predict the outcome of an experiment and the experimental outcome is the real reality, okay? We don't know, we don't agree anyway, let's put it that way. Some of us think we know, but we don't have everyone else agreeing with us right now. So that to me is just a blatant failure on the part of modern physics to not have a clear, crisp picture of what reality actually is. <laughs>